things to be inserted okay and i'm going to demonstrate to you how to hey there welcome to my channel this is kemi here i am so glad to have you here today so i'm going to be sharing my experience with boric acid with you you know how it has helped me you know and how you can use it the dosage that's the important thing okay like, i'm not a doctor so please if, before you can do anything you need to see seek advice from your doctors you know just to make sure you're on a safer side okay you know if you're having like a serious infection i would not advise that the first thing you do is to go and buy boric acid you need to go to the hospital you need to have taken like antibiotics you know before you start considering taking maybe boric acid to support okay now that that's out of the way let's talk about the business of the day boric acid has been used for centuries to treat vaginal infections and helps restore um ph balance okay you know you if I mean, if a girl, you should know that any small thing that disbalances your pH level, you know, in your vagina, and everything is just going to like go left you know some of us are like prone to yeast infection like any small thing before you know you start having discharge and before you know it becomes itchy and all of that that's why you also need boric acid you know just to keep it around the house you don't even have to have any infection before you buy boric acid boric acid treats many symptoms of vagina infections this includes itching abnormal discharges and just for vaginal health in general. Boric acid it is used as an antifungal and antiviral substance to help treat several bacterial infections in the vagina. If you are prone to yeast infections, bacterial vaginosis, urinary tract infection, that's UTI, and any form of discharge at all, boric acid is going to be your friend okay and you might be saying that oh boy i don't have any infection right now but just trust me you have to have it in the house if you'd have said you need to like wait for like maybe 24 hours before you could use boric acid and if you are done with your period as well you should wait for like 24 hours before you could use boric acid this is what it looks like right here and you know other ones have like they look like an arrow or something you know we have different supercessory and let me just say you guys something boric acid is not to be taken orally okay when you know when i heard about boric acid it was on instagram i think so before i did my research it is to be inserted okay and i'm going to demonstrate to you how to insert it since the, like my own did not come with an applicator and you know some of it comes with like this long applicator that you can actually use to insert it but i've been using my finger you know i've been using it for like the past seven days now so i'm in the best position to tell you about it the first day i used it actually i didn't like i didn't feel anything the only thing was that everybody was just like watery and soaked with water oh, you could get away with like using boric acid twice in a day twice maybe day and night but trust me i'm going to advise you okay to use it only once and that is at night when the lady told me not to use it during the day and i'm like why not so because i didn't go anywhere actually that was the only thing that saved me so i used it during the day you know i used the panty liners that was given to me but trust me guys it was not enough to hold the water because you know when i used that night i noticed that i was going on everywhere is just soaked in the morning like my pants and i thought it wouldn't get to my pants you know so but it still gets soaked so because you know it's supposed to actually wash the area so i mean i get the water aspect the first three days i used the boric acid i didn't feel anything but you know the for after like the the fourth day you know my stomach was like off something was just off i couldn't fart it was like air was trapped in my stomach and it was blo a little bit bloated but painful i couldn't sit and stand so that's the only side effects that i had with my own boric acid and i felt like you know it's just doing the work because i'm very prone to like yeast infection any small thing i'm already having discharge and you know it's already itchy and stuff like that things that i've used for like seven days now and i can see everywhere is clean like i can wear my underwear there's no discharge there's nothing it smells great and all of that so i am very very happy with my own boric acid so i'm going to be showing you guys now like how to insert the boric acid some of us our own will not come with an applicator so you need to figure out how to use it by yourself let me just show you now my own technique 
if you're okay with somebody helping you to do it but me i i maybe i would rather just do it by myself you're going to take like your two fingers first like this okay and you are going to like make it make sure that it is straight like that and you're just going to insert it and then you support it with the help of your middle finger <laughs> sorry well, you are going to support it with your middle finger um you know like push it as far as it could go if you are planning to um insert it like just put it in front and push it it might not go okay except if this, the place is slippery you know it is very good for you to use your two fingers to apply push it a little bit then use your middle fingers to like push it for that's how i use my own of course when you are lying down because you know if you're sitting there it's not going to go you put it it's going to like just be there so you need to just put your back on the bed and you know raise your pelvis a little bit you know to be able to like put it and it's going to be easier for you that way if you have like a major infection okay like a serious one don't take boric acid as your first response you need to go to the hospital consult your doctor then maybe after you've taken like antibiotics then you can now use boric acid okay guys i want 100 likes for this video so please if you're watching right now hit the like button okay just smash that like button right now thank you so much thanks us to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching my video and i'll catch you up later bye